Chad at Cots. This uh, this car definitely stands out compared to the rest. You got the neon green new edge. Tell me about the the nitrous setup you got on here. Uh, nitrous Express uh, provided uh, the whole system and everything. We got two uh, nitrous kits on it, two fifty shot in each kit. How big a motor is it? Uh, Six thirty two um, stock four space motor. Uh, gas intake, one car. <laughs> Made 1305 on the motor. And here at Cots, you're running senior, so you need all that power if you can put it down. Yeah, especially when you got to race people like Keith Sabo. We're going to go out there and give it our best, though. Yep. And there's a pretty cool story about the car and the build and the reason for it. Basically, um, I decided, uh, I've always been kind of hanging out by the starting line, hanging out with everybody, and um, decided to build this car to kind of bring awareness that no matter what tragedies you go through in life or what you have to deal with, you can still do the things you love to do. So, um, Team Z uh, Motorsports got behind me and um, I got the car, took it up to them. They completely outfitted it. Um, we took. Brian Chucky Davis um, yeah. took his motor and transmission, shoved down in the car, and uh, got Nitrous Express on board. Uh, Looks like it's done right. Yeah, Beautiful literally, car. there's a lot of little trick stuff that uh, they've done to make me completely comfortable in the car. If you look at like where the steering wheel is and stuff, my line lock, trans brake button, and so I don't have to reach for anything in case something goes bad. Yeah. Um, I have uh, my um, parachute button right on the hand control, so the car starts to get out of shape, and I'm starting to lift. I go ahead and just deploy the shoot right away so nice. like, I'm having a blast out here yeah. win or lose like I'm literally living the dream I went trade places with nobody you're at Cots yeah, you're racing seniors exactly. with Something the car I've that's always competitive it's badass it's gotta be a learning curve though holy yeah. cow it's definitely I mean the good thing is I've been around um a lot of really good guys all these guys have literally they've all pretty much become like family me. Uh, uh, Rick Jones over at Quarter Max, uh, after I won the last race, called me up and told me, hey, um, what's the race you just won? And I started telling him, because uh, he's one of our sponsors. And um, as I'm telling him everything, he goes, well, hey, we're getting ready to go up to race, because we're in Seattle. Uh, somebody wants to talk to you real quick. And all of a sudden on the phone, Eric Enders is like, hey, no I'm following way. your progress. And, Are um, you serious? Yeah, it was awesome. And they invited us down. We went down to Indy, hung out with their crew, ate dinner with them. She is like the most humble, down-to-earth uh, person. Awesome. Her whole crew, it was just awesome. Them. Brought us in there, showed us everything. Um, that's really a whole different world. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the big leagues right there. Like when we saw you in the spring, you're just getting started with the car. It's awesome to see you've been out so much with it. Thanks. Sounds like you're living the dream. Did I? I really am. Like when we finally actually got the car and got in the car, and people found out I was going to drive. It made me really realize how many people I've met over the years and how many you know different places I've been racing. So it's just been really, really, a lot really good cool. influences. Yeah, I mean. And now you're, you're one of those influences on other people, it's awesome. Yeah, I literally, uh, at one of the last races, um, met a little uh, girl, she came over, wanted us to sign her skateboard autograph, and you know, just like, uh, I never thought growing up I'd be signing anybody's, nobody bought my autograph. That's you know? so cool. So, it's definitely, um, it's definitely a cool experience. Oh, yeah. And then to be interviewed by 1320. <laughs> I mean, I watch all you guys' videos. That's what so. we're all about. We love hearing these stories and finding people are just living what they, they've been hoping to do for years and motivating yeah. people. It's awesome. Can you show me how the hand control yeah. stuff works? Yeah. Check it out. That's my line lock button, okay. trans brake button, and then you can see right here is a parachute button um, oh, on yeah. the hand control. So once I pull down, like I push forward for the brake and pull down for the gas. Once I pull down, all I have to do is put my thumb out and I can hit the parachute button. <laughs> That's great. You know, you know two fire systems, quarter max racing. They went above and beyond to make sure I was safe in the car, safe as I could be. Who did you draw first round? Paul Mantia. He's got a notchback Mustang. Uh, it's a 41X with uh, twin 88, so he's got a lot more horsepower than I do. Yeah. We're pretty confident, and uh, I'm going to go up there and let go of the button and do my job. And <laughs> what's the car work for itself? What's the quickest ET? Uh, pers my personal best has been a 111 60 foot, okay. uh, 303 to the 330, and I went. 456 at uh, 160. That's flying. Yeah, we still definitely be competitive here. Yeah. So yeah, you get that light. Well, man, good luck at Costa today, man. Blessed. Thank you. I appreciate it.
the second round? I have no idea. Because we going to the second round! Woo! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Good job, man. That was badass. Thank you. Solid yeah. pass. A little yeah. paddling. I fucked up the tune a little bit on that one. <laughs> Hold like said, on. I might have been able to drive through it, but I just figured there wasn't no sense of chance in it. Yeah. So, well, we that. I don't want to lose the, the last time good we were on one good. kit. Today we know there's some big dogs here, so we're on two, and we didn't even get to that yesterday. So it was a haymaker for us, anyways. Right. Oh yeah. But well, that's why I try to tell people to explain, off. and they forget is a lot of the stuff you feel is in your feet and your legs right. and your ass. Right. When it's right. You have no feeling there, and yeah. people don't understand that. I lose feeling two inches above my belly button. So I don't like think a about that. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. So doing wheelies, everything is completely different than what I wore. <laughs> to me, it feels a lot different. So yeah. but it's an adjustment. We're getting used to it. You're already doing a wheelie. You cannot make a wheelie and not pedal. You won't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you end up with second round? Riley. Oh, Riley, okay. Uh, yeah, they're a Michigan, I think Torch. Michigan car, right? Torch 2.0. Nitrous on nitrous. You. <laughs> We're hoping to take out some more turbo, guys, but. Yeah, you can do that in the final. Right. Good luck, man. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, man. 